Hello lovely peoples! So a lot of you have been asking me for drawing tutorials and I've been saying that I'm gonna make them but then I start procrastinating and you know how that goes. So I guess this is my first official tutorial video. Welcome to You Can't Draw by Me. Now let's get started. Today we're gonna be drawing faces. First thing you're gonna want to do is draw yourself a little circle, a little ugly circle. It don't have to be cute. And then you're gonna draw two lines on either side of it, just like that. They don't have to be straight. And then under those lines, you're going to draw a diagonal line on both sides, and then you connect on the end for the chin. Now, because I'm a perfectionist, I like to make sure that my face is symmetrical. So I will go in and copy one side of the face and then I'll flip it and put it on the other side. That way it looks even on both sides. And then I just go underneath that and erase what I drew previously. So now you got a straight looking face. What we're doing now is merging those layers that we created and then we're going to add a new layer. This is going to be for our guideline. We're going to draw one little line down the middle. It doesn't have to be straight, just a line. And then you're going to draw another line across that, perpendicular. It also does not have to be straight. Now, I like to draw my eyes in a different layer, so that's what I'm doing now. And I also like to draw them in a different color. For the eye shape, it can vary, but right here, I'm drawing sort of a top of a trapezoid shape for that top lid. And then underneath, I do like a curved looking arch for the bottom lid. And don't forget to draw your little eyeball in there. She's got to have some eyes. It probably looks like she's looking up right now, but that's not going to matter. Trust me. Now we're going to do the same thing we did for the side of the face. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it to the other side. Because we all know the other eye is not his worst nightmare. So to avoid that, we're just going to copy it. What I'm doing now is giving her some eyelids. Your eyelids can, can be any shape you want, to be honest. They can be tall, short, whatever. Just whatever you want. For the nose right now, what I'm doing is drawing a trapezoid shape. Again, uh, I guess I got a thing for trapezoids. They're just good for bases. And then I'm drawing two little diagonal lines underneath that, facing towards each other. And then I'm going to put two arches on either side of those diagonal lines that I just created. Just like that. Copy as I do. And then we're just gonna go in and erase that trapezoid shape that we put in the back because we don't need it anymore. Because like I said, it was just there for a base, just there for a guide. We don't need it. Now what I like to do is add like a little shadow on the tippity top of the nose, just like that. Because it's cute, I like it. <laughs> so now we're gonna use that <laughs> trapezoid looking type shape again for the mouth i'm drawing my mouth open you can make your mouth close to be honest it doesn't really matter but this is how i do my open mouth and then i put a line right above that and then i put curved lines on either side so that way you know it's plump just like that have it follow the shape of the trapezoid basically and then i'm drawing and a curve underneath just like this and I, I don't know if you guys can tell but obviously I am I, I love to draw lips that are big and plump and luscious so basically anytime you see me draw lips they're gonna be big and plump and luscious now if you want you can add some little lines on the corners of the mouth so she can have a little smile going on but honestly that's up to you for eyebrows, I like to start with a little skinny shape. They can be any shape you want, to be honest, but just for this tutorial, so it's simple, I'm drawing this shape right here. Just this little guideline shape. And then I will go in underneath, add another line, just to bring out that thickness. I also like to leave like a tiny line on the on the on the middle corners that way it can show like hairs it shows like that's that's actually hair you know so that's what i'm doing um and then also i like to go in and shade underneath the eyebrow that way i know like 
where to color when it's time to color. So now we're gonna go in underneath that, take away those guidelines, erase them so you can see your beautiful face that you just made. I'm probably gonna make a separate video for, you know, when I'm gonna do the, the neck and the ears and the hair and all that beautiful stuff because honestly, there's a lot of stuff that I can talk about, but you probably have a short attention span. I know everybody on TikTok does. But anyways, until next time, see you.